in this video now we are taking this formula for the equation of a straight line passing through a given point and when the slope is known and the slope is the derivative of the function so we apply this here find the equation of the tangent and normal to y equals these at 1 comma 64 also find the point of intersection of the normal when it intersects the parabola the second time so first we need to find the equation of tangent line and the normal line we have the point already here x naught is 1 and y naught is 64 we just need to find f prime x naught so First we FOIL 5 plus 3x times 5 plus 3x that will give me 25 plus 30x plus 9x squared. Now we take the derivative which gives me 30 plus 18x and we replace x by 1 we get 48 this is the slope of the tangent line and the equation will be y minus y naught is 64 equals our slope is 48 and then x minus 1. Further simplification will give me y equals 48x plus 16. The second, the normal is same like at the tangent line, only the slope will be negative reciprocal. So then when you simplify this one, we get negative 1 over 48x plus 3073 over 48. You can write this one as a decimal also using your calculator. Now we have remaining part that how, when the normal is intersecting the problem at the second time what is that point so I will do this one in the calculator so I type the function then I have my tangent line 14 48x plus 16 and then my normal is negative 1 over 48x plus 3073 over 48 so first look at the graph so you can see this is the graph we have the parabola this is our tangent line and this is our normal so because of the window it looked like they are not perpendicular but this line and this line are perpendicular and the normal is intersecting the graph second time at this point so we are interested to find this point when I have x equals 1 then we see that y is 64 on the graph so they are displaying the graph in here so go up arrow now it is showing you the normal line so normal is also passing through 1 and it shows 64. Then if you go further, it is showing you the tangent line now. When you type 1, that shows you 64. That means our calculations are all right. Now I'm interested to find this intersection here. So what do you do? Second, trace, go 5 for intersection and we are interested here. So I need to make sure that first I'm on parabola and then second I'm on the normal line. So I'm only already on the graph so hit enter and it is asking for, for the second curve and it is now showing tangent I need to go to the normal. So this is the normal. Hit enter twice. So it is giving you negative 4.5 three three five six four eight and y value is this so that we'll be writing here so you can see this is my point where the normal is intersecting the graph again so we are done so we'll go to the next problem so we have now find the points on the graph these where the tangent is horizontal this is a very simple question for part A. First you see the derivative, which is the slope of the tangent line. When it is horizontal, then slope must be zero. So you just need to solve for x. My x is 5 over 2, or you can say 2.5. When I plug this value in the function, it is giving me negative 63 over 4. So the point on the graph will be 5 over 2 comma negative 63 over 4 where the tangent line is horizontal. In part B now says that this tangent line will be parallel to this one. So that means 
the slope of the tangent line here will be same as 3 here because this parallel. So that's why we are saying the derivative I have 6x minus 15 will be same as the slope of the line here, they're parallel. So when I solve, I get x equals 3. So when I'm getting x equals 3, I plug it back again in the equation of the graph and that gives me y equals negative 15. So the point on the graph where the tangent line is parallel to this will be 3 comma negative 15 and we are done for this problem too.